Hey Peter, how are you? Are you having a good day? How's everything at uh, Bilderberg? Um, it's good. Uh, can you tell us about um, your libertarian values and beliefs? I was really curious if it's able to be somehow conjoined with some of the people you're meeting with, because there seems to kind of be a conflict with that. I was wondering what you think about the philosophy and obviously, you know, the, the meeting taking place. We're just curious about what's happening. I'll, I'll leave it at, let me just leave it at one statement and then that's it, okay? Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe that it's always important to exchange views with people uh, no matter what their perspectives are. Uh, I believe that uh, I'm, you know, I, I, I think that uh, I think that we have a lot of problems in our society and we need to be uh, finding ways to talk to people. We need to find ways to talk to people uh, where not everything is completely transparent. Libertarianism is not synonymous with radical transparency. That's often an argument that the Stasi would make in East Germany where uh, everything had to be monitored by, uh, by society. And I think often you have the best conversations uh, in smaller groups where not everything is being monitored, and that's how you can have very honest conversations and how you can think better about the future. Thank you very much. So your solution is the new world order. So we got Peter Thiel to actually give us a statement about his libertarian values and how they conflict with Bilderberg. Um, he said the Stasi is the one who would make the argument for transparency and openness, but the Stasi was also the one with secret meetings, secret decisions, secret police like we have out here at Bilderberg too. What do you think about Peter Thiel's comments? Let me know in the comment section below. At least he talked to us and made a statement. At least he did that, which we have to give him a little bit credit for. And he did try to explain himself.